Hey guys, what's up? This is Hungry Bone here, and today I'm at Croydon and I'm waiting for the Indian Pacific to pass from Perth to Central. It should be passing in the next 10 to 15 minutes, and fingers crossed I actually get a good shot of it. So I'm just going to be waiting here, recording a couple of trains, but this vlog is only going to be about the Indian Pacific. Now we've got the Indian Pacific now passing. It's the Indian Pacific, what I've been waiting for. I'm going to spam photos like crazy. Front is NR28, DL47. My God, it's loud. This is the Indian Pacific, it came from Perth. It's actually running on time today. I gotta say one thing, it's one hell of a long train. There are the car trailers. They, half of these trains came from Perth. Here we have got a Brisbane XP, the new Brisbane XPT, Front Loco 2018, arriving onto Platform 4 at Central, arriving at Sydney Terminal actually, onto Platform 4, because Platform 2 and 3 is the Indian Pacific. One car, 2018. This one will be the 241 Brisbane XPT. Oh, well, of course it's going to be an XPT. Now I know this is the India Pacific log, but I just thought I'd record it. Rikai's XP 2002. And here I am onto platform 3. Here is DL 47 and NR 118. And the cars from the Indian Pacific. And we have got a V set. I'm not sure of the front four cars, but the rear four cars is V39, I believe. V38. It will probably be rather a Newcastle service, not Newcastle, Hamilton service, or a Blue Mountain service. I'm not sure which one. And of course, I'm back here on platforms two and three. Platform three is got the Indian Pacific, and this is 10 cars long. And on platform two, we have got the another 10 car Indian Pacific. If you didn't understand that, that's just saying that the Brisbane XPT, which should be on platform number two or three, is now onto platform number four. So that's just a bit of a pain in the ass now, but it's the India Pacific, so what do you expect? Here are the Platinum cars, there are only three, two in this service. Platinum, I believe, is a proper bed, you own your room, plus a bathroom. And Platform's just a little bit, plat Platform? Platinum's just a little bit more than gold, but you get so much more. This is the announcement. Last call for boarding for the Indian Pacific. Last call for boarding. Platform 3. So that's just an announcement that last call for boarding for the Indian Pacific for gold and red class on Platform 3. Now guys, the front half of the Indian Pacific will <laughs> go will connect with the re half and I literally just ran up platform one from platform two. I was standing right there. Then I had to go back for something and then I have no idea what happened. So if you want another perspective of the Indian Pacific, Cameron and Phil are at Croydon. They're recording their part to it. The locos are and our 118 and DR47. It's about to connect. What's odd is half the train's already sticking out. It's like half, it's already half the journey to Redfern.
and here it's just connected. I think they use magnets or something because it's still staying. There's a lot of train spotters here today. The Indian Pacific's really popular. At first when I saw the Indian Pacific I thought it was the AK cars. But then I noticed that there were more than three of these type of cars passing so then I quickly got out my camera started recording and it was a fail and not an epic fail like a really sad fail here it is, is it connected? what's the time now? it's leaving in about 20 something minutes can't see anything now And guys I am back here if you guys didn't know where you can park your cars for a, on the train for a low low cost of 1000 from $900 to $1300 depending on which car you're in this is how you do it you drive your cars up here the gate opens you come all the way up here then they drive up the ramp bigger they drive up the ramp and then the carriage for cars would be hauled by that locomotive, rather NR118 or DR47 in this case, I actually know they use both. And they'd bring them all the way along here to this track and you could drive your cars up the ramp onto there. And then they'd connect it so it'd be at the front or the back of the train. This is a very good way of having your car when go travelling on the Indian Pacific. It's one of the best ways so you can go drive around Perth drive around Sydney and then go back, do whatever you want to do. You can go to get off at Adelaide, you can go to Broken Hill with your car. This is basically your option if you want to bring your car but you don't want to drive. Now I have no idea what the hell just happened but the Brisbane XPT just left. If you guys can see it. Brisbane XPT was on platform 4. It's the 241 XPT. That's the XPT, all right. Front car to XP2002. The rear car is XP2000 or XP2000 2018. There it is. It will be going to Roma Street. Now, if there's anybody new to my channel, hi, I'm Hungrybone, and I record uh, Sydney trains, freight trains, any type of trains in this area. And there's the CountryLink XPT. I reckon this video may attract a couple new people that actually like the Indian Pacific. If you didn't hear that, that was a certain announcement saying that the next train on platform number one terminates here. Please do not join the train. Well, in, in this case you can't join it because it will be an intercity service. Well, not intercity, New South Wales training regional. Now if you guys didn't actually know how long the Indian Pacific is, well look at that, that's where the end is. We've got a visa to arrive in onto a platform, can't see it. That's where it is, those are the locos and the cars. This is the actual train right here, that's sticking out of the platform, the platform finishes right there. So I'm going to guess that it's somewhere between 5 to 600 metres. If I haven't said this already, Phil and Cameron will be at Croydon, 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 recording this vlog for you guys. If you, got, if you guys didn't actually know, there's actually a woman at Croydon that whenever the Indian Pacific passes, she waves an Australian flag, and the driver's usually two at her. This was fun since I had no idea what was going on, and then I met up with Phil and Cameron. And they, well, for a couple of minutes, and they said, did you see a woman waving a flag? I said, yeah, we actually did. And she said, do you know what her name is? No. Nope. Turns out she is, she's one of the, according to them, she's Australia's oldest train spotter. 83 or 84 years old. Now, if you didn't know, there's actually a sign that says toilet discharge. So what does that mean? That they just pop, put a pipe there and everything comes out? It's just, it's hard to think about what happens. Completely unrelated. If you can see, there's an Oscar 
arriving onto a platform. Much sure the set it would have come from Hamilton. It would have been an all station service. Okay. I'm on stay still. Now I know I'm, now I know I already told you about this machine, but it can go up so the cars can fit on the second level or go down so the cars can fit on the first level. It's actually pretty good the way that they've worked this out. By they I mean the people working for Great Southern Rail. And again completely unrelated, we have got an Oscar arriving into the platforms at Central. It's that black now. There we go. It would have come from Hamilton. Again. No, it would have come from might have come from the south coast. See the south coast trains are also now stopping here. My finger in the way? No. I may just make a whole new series called Completely Unrelated, which I have a bunch of videos that have stuff that's completely unrelated in them. Half this like half this stuff's just me waiting and recording trains as they arrive in. I should really be on platform four because that's that's where you will get the best perspective. But I, I know if I leave now, it'll leave right in my face, and I'm gonna kick myself because it's the, almost my one chance, or that that I want to get this on film. I think it's about to leave now. The horn just went off. A horn just went off. It's leaving now. Front car is NR118. Second loco is DR. 47. I mean the first loco is NR118. I'm gonna record this leave now. This leave? I'm gonna record this leave. Now this will probably be one of my longest videos I will all make. Goodbye for another week. See you soon. This train's running two minutes late. passengers is parked and it will pick up passengers at lift go. It's still going. This I reckon it's 20 something cars at least. I reckon the front half is already at Redfern. Yeah I'm right the first couple of cars are at Redfern. cars to go. These really do look like the AK cars. But these cars are much more nicer. So for most people for some people it's a three day journey to Perth. Have a good trip. And here are baggage, storage areas, red service. And popping the back area, the back motor. Anyway guys, I'm definitely gonna have to wrap this Indian Pacific vlog up now. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, rate this video, also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.